Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. So I went to see a comedian last night and I was driving back thinking about my YouTube channel and what I could do next and then it suddenly dawned on me, it's October today. A lot of people used to do, I don't know if it's still a thing, a lot of people used to do Vlogtober where they vlogged every day of October. October is going to be a really exciting month for me because I've got my birthday, I'm going to Gran Canaria for a week with my mum. So I thought, why don't I do Vlogtober? Even if it's not still a thing, let's bring it back, let's make it a thing. Then I was like, oh my gosh, October is literally tomorrow. <laughs> So I've just woken up, it's the 1st of October, happy October and welcome to October or Vlogtober over at Emily Guys Vlogs. So yeah, I hope you're excited, give this video a thumbs up if you're super excited for Vlogtober. I will be taking you along with me and vlogging every single day of October, what have I committed to? Um, I'm going to format them into weekly vlogs I think. Daily vlogs would just be difficult for me to get up so in view of making better content for you guys I'm gonna do a weekly vlog and put it up once a week so yeah I'm super excited I've got lots of exciting things on this month that I can take you along for so I'll be sure to do that but first bottle call I've just woken up uh, that's why it looked like this I've just put the lamp on I went to see a comedian last night I went to see Max Fosh uh, the youtuber turned comedian I just went on my own it was in new theatre in Cardiff I had a great time it was fantastic and I was still home by 10 so yeah really enjoyed it but I'm gonna head in the shower because it's Tuesday, which means I have a morning clinic, so can't afford to be late. I'm gonna get a shift on, wash my hair, and then I'll be ready for the day. Guys, I think I'm losing my wave, you know. I don't know whether it's the length of my hair, because it's getting longer, you know, maybe when it was shorter, it was more likely to kill. But I'm doing the same routine, the same method, all of my Only Kills products, and I'm not getting a lot of curl particularly at the back like let me show you the back it's a mess like it's a self-proclaimed mess look at that it's basically straight at this point i don't know what to do i don't know whether to keep going with this whole really wavy routine thing and just see what happens or to abandon it and just blow dry my hair straight in the morning i don't want to force it to be wavy if it's not but if it is i want to embrace that does that make sense but yeah i'm not like obsessed with having wavy hair like if it's not wavy i don't want to force it to go into that pattern but it just really was at the start of the summer like it just went really really wavy and like i said i don't know if it is the length obviously i know the longer hair gets the more it's going to be like weighed down and i haven't scrunched it out yet so it still has got a bit of a cast on it but when i'm scrunching it it's going even looser which makes sense because obviously you scrunch the gel out yeah i don't know if i'm like flogging a dead horse using these curly products on it now because it doesn't seem to want to be curly at the moment so maybe i should give it a break and wear it straight but then you know the more i kind of blow dry straighten it out the less it's going to want to curl oh i don't know if anyone's got any advice please comment down below if you've got like wavy hair like mine and you've got any tips on what i might be doing wrong or you think it is like a length thing, just let me know. I need all the help I can get, as I always say with my hair. I'm not a hair person at all. Um, my mum gave me her only girls product because she cut her hair short and this is what she used to use and they really worked for her. But yeah, I don't know, let me know. Let me know what you think. I think it might just be the length, maybe, that it's just dragging it down and it just doesn't want to be overly wavy. But who knows we'll see but anyway i'm gonna head down and make myself some breakfast because it is already uh, 7 34. i work between two hospitals one of them's like nine minutes so i leave here at like five past ten past eight i start at half eight every day finish at half four so yeah but then the other one i work at tuesday wednesday friday is like 25 minute drive so i leave at uh like just before eight so yeah basically what i'm saying is i need to get shift done because i'm at the far away hospital today because it's tuesday so yeah i'm gonna pick something to wear i'm gonna get dressed and then go and get some breakfast me and my wavy slash not wavy hair are off to work so i'll probably catch up with you either like lunchtime or after work but yeah i've got clinic this morning so it's gonna be busy 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 people in and out so yeah wish me luck Hello 
team another hectic day in the NHS but I'm done it is nearly quarter to five I'm gonna oh what do I do okay so it's quarter to five I think I'm gonna head back towards home and go to Tesco because I haven't done a food shop in like a dread thing maybe like a week and a half two weeks I've literally run out of like everything now so yeah it's not ideal so I'm gonna go to Tesco I haven't got a list I haven't planned my meals but I'm just gonna get some super basic stuff so I'm away on Friday night and then for the weekend so I'm literally just gonna get like basic stuff so I can cook my meals like and get some yoga and get some lunches and stuff like that so yeah I'm gonna nip to Tesco I do think I have a meeting about my social media British Dietetic Association thing tonight as well uh just over teams but no one's confirmed but it's in my diary so I'm like is it still going ahead but i think it wouldn't be till half seven if it was so yeah i'm gonna whiz around the shops quick i was gonna say i hope it's not too busy i mean it will be it will be a five o'clock on a work night it just will be this is what i hate about working full time obviously you have to go to like the supermarket at the most busy times usually i try and do a click and collect if i'm organized i'm not organized generally so i'm gonna go shopping head home have something to eat and then potentially join this meeting if it's going ahead I'm not sure but i will update you right so i've just got home i decided to go to aldi instead uh just fancy to change i guess i usually do tesco click and collect for convenience but since i hadn't done a click and collect i thought i might as well wander around somewhere different so i got sweets for trick or treaters emily they are for the trick or treaters do not touch them okay uh chicken and noodle soup mushy peas pesto chicken and white sauce apparently that's nice mixed with pasta like a creamy chickeny pasta sauce don't know got it recommended so i'm gonna try it never tried it before mexican rice savory chicken rice uh the equivalent of like muller lights candy floss grapes baby plum tomatoes beans the equivalent of cheerios frozen jackets these are steel these are like half the price of the mccain ones so yeah i haven't had one yet obviously but we definitely recommend from a cost point of view onion and rosemary sausages if you're a slim and well they are free which is amazing bananas unsweetened soya milk uh these dusted batter basser fillets they had different flavors but they're garlic and herb uh corn crispy nuggets these chicken skewers they're the teriyaki ones i thought with one of the rice pouches they'd be really good potatoes low-fat cheddar vegetables wonky blueberries fiber now salted caramel thought they sounded quite nice and nectarines and that is my whole shop that came to just over 40 pound like 40 pound and a few pence um and yeah, I think I got a lot more for my money, obviously stating the obvious, than when I go to Tesco. But yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm going to pop it all away and then get some dinner on quickly because I have got a committee meeting this evening and it starts at seven and I thought it was half seven because it usually is. So yeah, I need to get a shift on. So I'm going to pop this stuff away. Okay guys, fear not, Cucumber has saved the girl dinner yet again. The saviour of beige freezer meals. Thank you. Thank you, Cucumber. Right guys, it's happening. Can't hack it anymore. The heating is going on. Yeah, I'm just going to put that on just for a little while. Just for a little while because it is getting awfully chilly. The blinds, they're not having blinds doesn't help either because obviously these windows are covered. But I've got like big patio doors at the back of the house. They're obviously just open to the elements, no blinds or curtains or anything. And these little windows, so yeah, it is getting chilly. The dishes are my next job before some editing. But yeah, definitely dishes first. So I'm just going to do the dishes now. I've got my big work fleece on. See guys, freezing. But I have my meeting, I have my dinner, then I have my meeting. Uh, for the social media stuff. So that went well. So yeah, dishes, editing. It's been day tomorrow, but I don't want to go out in the dark and the cold, so I'm going to do those in the morning. Our local council's just moved over from a bin to three black bin bags, which is interesting. 
people have got some very strong opinions in the Facebook group. I can't say I've got time to even worry about it. But yeah, so I can only put three black bin bags out every three weeks. I don't think it's as bad for me because I live on my own, but obviously people with big families I think are struggling, which is fair enough. Um, but yeah, I've separate my recycling as well and take out my food waste. Honestly, in England, I had three bins. One was green, garden waste. One was blue, recycling, all the recycling. And one was black, general waste. And they alternated between what got connect collected and it was just really easy. Whereas here it's like, yeah, general waste, you can have three black bags there every three weeks. Recycling's every week, but you have to separate card and paper from the rest and have them in separate bags. The full-time job on top of my full-time job. So, yeah, but that'll have to be the morning's problem because I definitely am not going outside now. I can separate the recycling in here and just leave it in bags for the morning. But, yeah, I'm not I'm not going out. My hands are already freezing. So I'm going to warm them up in some nice hot dish water. Gosh, rookie error. I've been editing for an hour and a half. It's 25 to 11 and I'm not even in my pyjamas. I haven't taken my make bath. I haven't done my teeth. Ah, but safe to say I'll be going and doing those things now um, because I'm tired and I should have been doing them half an hour ago but at least that video is edited really exciting video it'll probably be up before this one so it was my colour analysis video I've just spent literally an hour and a half editing it so I really hope you enjoyed that one if you haven't watched it go and watch it give it a thumbs up you know the usual because yeah it really did take me a long time to edit I edited some of it yesterday as well so that was literally just like the the other bit so yeah I'm busting for a wee as well so I'm gonna go get ready for bed what I'll probably do is catch up with you in the morning because yeah these are gonna be weekly vlogs obviously they'll be four hours long if I yap at you constantly so yeah I'll catch up with you tomorrow and I'm gonna go get ready super quickly <laughs> Wednesday the 2nd of October. Don't know why I say it because it's going to be on the bottom but yeah I'm up. Last night was a late one. I'm really tired. Look I look. We'll not talk about it but yeah I've just sorted all the bins. I had like a massive cardboard box from the chair that got delivered on the weekend so I had to break all of that down. I did slightly forget about that. I thought oh, I'll just shove stuff in bags it'd be easy but I had to like break it all down as well. I've literally put it out and the bin man is like at the end of the street. I was like quick get the bags out but we're fine we're done. Put everything out. I need to head off to work. It's like five to eight now. I think that took so long. <laughs> yeah, I've got my lunch together. I've made my coffee, so I'm gonna dash off. Today in work, what am I doing today? Hmm. It might be being someone admitted for NJ feeding, um, but we're not sure if they're coming in, or otherwise it'll just be like admin and phone calls, which to be honest is quite nice because I had clinic yesterday, then I was down on the ward in the afternoon with the other dietitian. So yeah, it'd be nice to have like a chill admin day, but when does that happen, you know? When does that happen? I then have Slimming World this evening. I'll come back, chill for a bit, and then head off there, and then have dinner after. So yeah, another another busy-ish evening. But then Thursday, I've got no plans. Oh, and then Friday, I'm driving to my friends. So busy week, guys, but we're fine. We're looking good, you know. We've done the bins, that's the main thing. That's the main thing, we're winning. There were lots of, Lots of weeks in my old house where I just didn't do the bins because I just couldn't, because it was another thing to do and my brain just couldn't handle it. So the bins are out, so I'm feeling good. But yeah, let's grab coffee and get to work. Hello guys, I've not long got in from work. It, well, actually it's 20 past six, so I probably got in about an hour ago. I have got Slimming World tonight at half six, but apart from that, I haven't got anything on. I'm just just chilling really. Yeah, I'm just gonna go quickly and then come back and get stuff done. Usually I'd stay the session for like an hour but I think this week I'm just gonna run in and wait. Got a few bits to do around the house so yeah I'm gonna prioritize that but I'm gonna go and wait anyway in about five minutes time. Come back and then I can cozy up.
Good evening, you're on the towel rack in the bathroom and I'm just getting ready for bed. I don't know what time it is actually. I think it's fairly early, I think I've done quite well. Five past ten, it's okay. A lot earlier than last night, which is great. But yeah, I'm just gonna wash my face and brush my teeth and then I'm ready and then hopefully I can just hook up and read for a bit or oh, need to do my duolingo as well tomorrow's job is going to be packing for the weekend i think and i might cook something or you know something like that so yeah nothing major more chilling that's what we like if you used to watch my vlogs when i lived in my old house before i moved i used to do choir on a tuesday ballet and tap dancing on a wednesday and slimming world on a thursday so my schedule was pretty jam-packed now i just do slimming world so things have drastically reduced i do want to look into like maybe doing a choir or an orchestra or dance or something like that um but i just wanted to settle settle into this house first and have a bit of free time to yeah i don't know get used to my new routine i think i'd like my time to be less full because i was like permanently exhausted when i did all those hobbies and i had like a three hour round commute on the days i was in birmingham so yeah i definitely want to have a more chill life going forward um but yeah i don't see why i couldn't incorporate some things i enjoy into my routine and make myself a little bit busier on weekday evenings but yeah i'm gonna do the things i said i was gonna do t3 to bed so i'll probably catch up with you tomorrow good morning team it is thursday morning just put my lanyard on i had to buy some new lanyards because my other one broke Look, this one's got strawberries on it, then I've got one with lemons on it and one with pineapples on it. Very cute. Very pediatric dietitian of me, isn't it? I'm gonna pop this on. Um, I've got an AHP, <laughs> well, it's actually an induction welcome session this morning. Um, I've been in the job six months, so I don't know what, <laughs> like, I think they only do these things like a couple of times a year which is obviously why I haven't been able to go before now. But yeah, I don't know quite what they're gonna teach me that I haven't learned for myself in the past six months, but you know, we'll see, it should be good. Then I've got an afternoon clinic, uh, which I prepped for, so I'm pretty much good to go straight into that. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab myself some breakfast and definitely a coffee, because if I'm sat in a lecture theatre listening to someone speak for Oh, what is it half eight till half 12 i think i'm definitely gonna need caffeine <laughs> i'm really tired this morning but yeah let's get ready and head off to work so i've actually decided to come for an evening walk so if you don't recognize me tomorrow it's because i'm an elite athlete but look how pretty look at that behind me i'm like oh, i just walked into a tree um but yeah look at that i just couldn't resist the weather is just really nice i've got my big coat on which literally goes all the way down so i'm nice and toasty but yeah what a pretty evening hello guys <laughs> what is this angle i look very cozy and that's because i am that brief little jaunt outside of the house uh was lovely i was out for about 40 minutes then it started getting dark and i do not like being outside in the dark on my own so i had it back did the dishes and now i've just reclined which is lovely um i'm just I've literally just clicked on a show on Netflix that looks really good called A Confessions from 2019. It's an ITV six part drama with, I was going to say Morgan Freeman, Martin Freeman, uh, who I really like. So I'll let you know if it's any good. I'm probably going to watch like one or two episodes now. It's still really early. What time is it? eight o'clock i'm gonna watch a bit of that see how it goes see how i enjoy it and yeah i'll update you i started watching the menendez brothers thing yesterday i don't know whether i just wasn't in like the headspace for it but i watched nearly all of the first episode and i just couldn't get into it so i'm not sure maybe i'll give it another go but yeah i'm gonna watch a confession and see how it is update that is really good would definitely recommend like i said it's not new but i'd never like reach for itv so it must have just passed me by but now it's on netflix i've obviously noticed it um oh, my hair's a bit mad i've been lying on it <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, I'm gonna head to bed. It's quarter to ten, so I'm gonna go up, put my dramas on, get ready for bed, and then probably read some of my books. So nothing exciting for tonight. Tomorrow I'm going to my friend Carl straight from work, so of course I will take you along with me because it is Vlogtober. So what kind of vlogger would I be if I didn't vlog every day of Vlogtober? Yeah, I need to finish packing my bag for that, and I'm gonna go straight from work, so I'm on the road nice and early so I can get there as soon as possible. So yeah, I'll take you along with me for the weekend of course might not film anything until like after work probably when i get to my friends tomorrow i might do but i mean there's nothing exciting going on but yeah i'll catch up with you soon well, I don't think I mentioned it, but other than to see my friend Carl, the reason I went to Banbury was to meet my old choir for a 10 year reunion party. Okay, so I really haven't vlogged, but I have just got to my choir party in Kyneton and I'm gonna rush in because I am, in fact, 10 minutes late. <laughs> Always running late, never break the habit of a lifetime. But yes, yeah, got my bag, got my keys, and I'm gonna go see some old friends. <laughs> Hello guys, I'm in my car and I'm actually already on my way home. I'm like, well, I've got an hour and 50 minutes to go. I was going to chat to you when I got to the car. Then I got to the car and there was someone like stood there waiting for it to be picked up or something. So I didn't and now I've just been looking for a place to stop so I can tell you that I'm on my way back. So I stayed at my friend Carl's last night. We went to the cinema, which I'll tell you about later when I get back. We went to see the Joker or just Joker, it's not the Joker, I'm so old. Uh, Joker, Folia de with uh, Lady Gaga and Joaquin Phoenix. We'll talk about that later, I have things to say. I have things to say, I have questions. But yeah, we had a lovely evening. We had dinner in Pizza Express and then it was pretty much bedtime, to be honest, by the time we got back. Um, and then this morning we had a croissant for breakfast and chilled, watched telly for a bit and got ready. And now here I am. So I should get back at 26 minutes past one. I've just driven through Still on the Wald, which is so pretty. I was really tempted to like stop and give you a little like overview of Still on the Wald, but I don't really have the time because at two o'clock my brother and my sister-in-law and my nephew are coming to see the house. They haven't seen the house yet unbelievable we're all just so busy um we haven't managed to get a date in even though they don't live far they live in Pontadawi. so yeah but today is the day they're gonna come and see and they're also gonna bring up one of my mum's suitcases for me to use for my holiday in a couple of weeks yeah i'm really excited to show them around the house um i'll get back half an hour before they're due to come which means i can run the hoover around and make the bed properly and tidy stuff up but otherwise i think it's pretty tidy at home i don't like leaving it if it's not like nice and tidy because i hate coming back to an untidy house so it should be all right might just need a quick hoover and i know the bed i just like threw together i didn't put the cushions or like the blankets on nice i just like threw the duvet over so yeah i'll make up the bed so yeah i'm super excited to see them and show them the house when i get back and i guess i should probably carry on with my journey not too much longer to go so i will catch up with you later this is where i'm stopped though by the way it's just in a little village off to stow on the world look how pretty look at those stone buildings Oh, lovely. I do miss living so close to the Cotswolds, but it's really nice driving through it. Ah, so I made it back safe and sound. It was a nice quick journey, actually. I'm rarely doing that journey in like daylight in the middle of the afternoon. So yeah, it was quite nice. I'm sorry it looks so dark, by the way. I've got the door. That's the only thing about this living room. The door opens in and like blocks the window, but I want to have it open so I can he actually hear my brother knocking on the door when they get here. Um, so yeah, I got back about half hour ago. I've just run the hoover around and made up the bed. And that is about all I needed doing really. Oh, I put some dishes away as well. Um, I haven't unpacked, but I've just chucked my duffel bag thing on my 
bed so that's fine that's out of the way and yeah my brother my sister-in-law and my nephew are coming i've just sat down and i'm just transferring clips for this vlog so yeah that's it really i'm just chilling waiting for them to arrive and looking forward to seeing them house is sorted i got my little uh which candle have i got lit it's an apple spice one i think from uh home sense so that is how the living room's looking oh i will catch up with you in a bit Do you want to say hi vlog? Hi Flobby Bobby. <laughs> Close enough. Ah, you look very cute today, don't you? Hi Flobby Bobby. We're matching, look, look our brown trousers. <laughs> really nice to see the family and obviously seeing the house for the first time. I think they liked it, which is good. Although my brother's consistent complaint with my house is really cold <laughs> because I don't want to put the heating on, guys. Put the fire on for a bit, which is lovely. And he said, oh, is this expensive to run then? I was like, oh, I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out when my bill comes through. No idea. But yeah, I've turned it off now because it's just me here. So I'll just put a blanket on or wherever when I'm chilling, watching the telly. But my nan very kindly sent some things up with my brother. So my mum, first of all, sent the suitcase so I can pack for my holiday. And my nan sent a few bits, which is very kind. I've just been chatting to her on the phone to thank her for sending things. Um, so I thought I'd show you what she sent. And the first thing is a jar of Nanny's homemade jam. Nanny strawberry jam. So I'll pop that ready for when I finish the jam. I've got, very kind, some over the knee socks, which will be so cozy and so warm for the winter. And some fluffy bed socks as well, which is great because some of mine have got like holes in, so these can replace those. She sent a book. Josephine Cox a time to remember which she's read and said it was nice so she sent it she sent me some vegan chocolate which Charlie and I actually ate a bar of while he was here and it's really good if you're looking for a vegan chocolate recommendation galaxy vegan salted caramel really nice I'm not vegan but I try and limit dairy when I can um just because I used to have a cow's milk protein allergy so it doesn't necessarily agree with me anymore these pumpkin serviettes look how cute and look at this an advent calendar so this again is dairy free it's an oat milk chocolate and it's got oh it's got different flavors in there oh my gosh four flavors creamy and smooth salted caramel gingerbread and festive orange Oh my gosh, guys, roll on December. I'm really excited about this. But yeah, unfortunately, this is going to go away in a cupboard until December. But yeah, thank you so much, Nan. I know you'll be watching. You always do. So yeah, I'm going to put this stuff away. And I think what I might do is start on dinner. It is now, what's the time? It's four o'clock, but I didn't have lunch. I had a croissant at Carl's before I left. Um, and then I had some of that chocolate with Charlie. But I think if I do like an early dinner... And then I can just get cozy and chill for the rest of the evening. And because I think otherwise, if I sit down, get really warm and cozy, I won't want to get up and cook. But if I do it now before I get warm and cozy, then I think that'll be a better plan of action. So I don't know what to have. I've got a few bits in the freezer. I've got some of the Aldi red onion and rosemary sausages. So I could have sausage and mash. That sounds really good right now because I'm quite chilly and it's really autumnal. It's raining like mad outside. Or I could make chips and have one of the lightly dusted fillets with chips and mushy peas. I mean, both sound good, but because I'm really chilly, I'm really fancying like sausage and mash right now. So I think that's what I'm going to have and I'm going to get started because I'm getting peckish. Oh, there we go, guys. These sausages are nice, by the way. I bought them from Aldi earlier on in the vlog and um yeah they're really nice and any slimming worldies out there it is they are free on slimming world like the linda mccartney ones i'm right in a shadow here aren't i my dinner's in a shadow it's not actually that dark it's like early but oh, yeah there you go that's dinner just what i needed look i've spilled all the water from the veg steam bag as well <laughs> But this looks super yummy and I'm gonna enjoy. Good evening. I have eaten my dinner. I have done the dishes and I've just edited this vlog that you are watching right now. And I edited the bit where I said I was gonna tell you about film. So yes, Carl and I went to see Joker Folie à Deux, the second film last night, Saturday night. And on Friday, we watched the first Joker. I had been to see it in a cinema, uh, like literally when it came out, obviously. So a long time ago. So we wanted to recap the first one before watching the second one. I don't think it needed a sequel. I think the beautiful bit about the first film is it leaves a bit of intrigue, it leaves a bit of 
query regarding the intent and you know the mental state of the character i'm not going to give any spoilers by the way i ain't that kind of girl wouldn't do that to you wasn't overly taken with the sequel i love lady gaga the songs they used in it were good in fact it was a musical felt a bit forced the songs were a bit crowbarred in to be honest and yeah overall i just don't think it needed a sequel so as much as carl and i had a fantastic time oh my goodness the seats in the cinema I couldn't believe it. He was laughing at me because I hardly ever go to the cinema. The last time I went was the cinema in Swansea and it's just like your bog standard, like nothing fancy. But this one we went to, it was in Banbury. I think it's a fairly new cinema called The Light. And it was so booed, like so booty. So we had recliners. I think Carl, Carl paid, but I think he said it was about £15 a ticket. And yeah, we had literal recliners with like a little table and a cup holder. And I was just blown away. It was a really comfortable cinema experience. And we went to Pizza Express for dinner first. So we had a really lovely evening. I don't regret going to see it at all. Um, would I recommend it? Probably not, just in the view that it was not my favourite and I, yeah, I just enjoyed the first one so much. I thought it was so clever and so spooky and so good and the second didn't hit the right spot for me, but you might enjoy it. So, you know, if you like the cinema or you've got one of those, like, passes that you can go and see loads of films or whatever, then definitely give it a go because it might be for you. I had that recently with the Amy Winehouse film, Back to Black. Everyone was slating it and apparently saying it was awful. Then I went to see it and I loved it so I think that's the thing about cinema and films it just is so subjective so that was really unhelpful because I basically ended it with you do you but you know just telling you my experience I guess but we had a really great evening and overall I'd say I've had a really good week I've been in a fairly good mood all week which is always good for vlogging and I've thoroughly enjoyed taking you along with me for the first week of vlogtober please give this video a big thumbs up if you're excited for the rest of vlogtober so I know to keep making these videos and don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss any more of it and I will see you in my next Next one. Bye!